Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make something that we absolutely love and they're called fire starters. They are one of the ugliest things that you would ever make. So do not plan on them looking nice because they will not look nice and there isn't really any way to make them look nice. So I'm going to show you first what they look like. They're made out of egg cartons, not the, uh, not the styrofoam kind, but the burnable kind, and old candles, and dryer lint, and then dryer sheets, used dryer sheets if you use dryer sheets. You don't have to have those, but you do need the dryer lint and the egg carton and the candle wax. So this is what they look like. You just throw them in, throw one in, and it lasts anywhere from five minutes to 10 minutes to 15, depending on how much stuff you put in there. So um, you just keep these in a little container, you know, off to the side of your fireplace or your campfire site. And then you just use these and you don't need any kindling. They're just um, perfect for starting a fire without any other fuss or mess. So I'm gonna show you how to make them. That's the end product and I'm gonna work backwards. First thing you wanna do is start collecting your dryer lint. I just keep this by my dryer. I actually have a sunflower in there. And each time I uh, take the lint out of my dryer, I just stuff it down inside there. And then uh, I also put in my dryer sheets, my old dryer sheets. Then I also get candles like at Goodwill um, or actually old Christmas candles that have just kind of uh, deteriorated in quality. I go ahead and uh, save those as well for this. So I have a place where I keep all of my supplies. It's just a box that says fire starter supplies and I have it out of the way. And so every time I get like a new batch of lint, it's filled up. I go ahead and put it in there in a baggie and uh, the candles that I get, I stick in there. And then I also have a pan here that is designated for just this job because it's going to get wax on it and it's really difficult to get it off. So I got this one at Goodwill and I just keep it for just that purpose of making these. You're also going to need a can and it can be bigger than this if you want, but this is a good size as far as weight and handling. And it's just a regular can that vegetables came in. And then I just bent it so that it made a little spout there. So I'll be showing you how we use that. So here's the uh, candle wax. You just stick your candles in there and just let it melt. So. Um, and it didn't take very long. It only took about a half hour for my whole big, all, all several candles to melt down into that. Now, if your candle wax is cooled down some, you don't need a pot holder to hold it. But I did when I first started. So if you do that, what I do is put a corner of it on here and then I hold it like that. So that way I've got use of the whole can and, um, and it works really well. So let's go on over here. Normally you're just gonna use the part where the eggs sit, okay? So that is the idea behind these. However, I had a whole bunch of lids that I also wanted to use, and I thought, I wonder if there's a way I can do that. So what I did, and it's an experiment, so you're gonna find out how this works even as I speak. I used toilet paper rolls and uh, cut them up, stuck them in there, and then dryer sheets to just kind of fill it in a little bit, and it actually worked pretty well. So I'm gonna cut one up here and see how it works as far as holding together. And again, these do not need to look nice. So I'm actually just gonna keep this one just as it is with all the kind of um, the excess parts. I'm just gonna use that as a fire starter. That will work really well. So experiment completed. We now know that that works. So now then these over here are done. I did them a little while ago and it works best, I think, to start with a little bit of a cut. Sometimes you can pop them. Let's see if they'll do it. Oh, this worked. Yep, so sometimes you can pop them like that. And I'm kind of pushing down on that little center part right there. But sometimes it doesn't work so well, so that's where scissors come in handy. And you can even just do this part out here because I don't, I don't throw that away. That's uh, part of what's going to be burning and uh, taking that much longer to burn and start your fire. So I'll just pop those like that. So I'm holding on to both cups, otherwise it'll kind of pull apart in a way you don't want it to. And then I will pull those apart. I'm not worrying about size, I'm not making anything uniform. So there we go. There's a bunch of them right there, and they're complete. Okay, 
So what I did, backing up further here now, is what I did was, over here you can see the way I used the top, I have my little pieces of toilet paper roll. Um, you can cut them into like thirds, fourths, or fifths, just depending on how deep you want them, and it's not a science. So first, the dryer sheets went in, just little pieces of them that I had cut up, and then the dryer lent. And so then I just put that in, and it goes all over the place, which is just fine. Okay. And so then on these others, here's how I put this in. It's just really random, and uh, you just sort of just take enough to fill the thing up and still have room for some wax to go in there. But the wax really kind of compacts the, um, the dryer lint, so you don't really have to worry too much about uh, how full it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do this then. So see, I'm just kind of letting that fill up. Now, the more you fill it up, the longer your fire starter is going to burn. So if you don't have as much in there, then it just doesn't burn quite as long. And depending on how, you know, how ready your wood is to, um, to be burned, you know, like the longer these can go, the better if your wood is not quite as um, seasoned. So there's that. That's how I got to the point of having all these ready to go. So now I, one other thing I did, and it has yet to be seen, and I'll, I'll share this later, but I also wanted to use those containers that your beverages come in. So what I did is I took a dryer sheet and I actually uh, cut it down to a square. I crammed it in there because that's quite a bit of space there where we're just gonna lose our wax. So I just put that in there so that the wax would stay put. And then I've got this to go in here. And now I'm gonna go get some more wax and come back and just see how that fills up. These will be super duper fire starters on steroids because they're so big. So you can dip in, but as you get closer to the bottom of your supply of wax here, you're gonna to need to um, just pour it in from the pan. So this may be too hot for me to hold. Yep, it is, so I'll just use my thing here. And one thing else I wanna mention is that you do wanna cover your surfaces with some kind of um, either a plastic tablecloth or a newspaper. This is gonna make a big mess. As you can see, there's already drops all over the place. So you're gonna to want to either use newspaper on top of this, uh, but this is just my designated craft tablecloth. You aren't gonna want a cloth one, that will be done the one time you use it, so you will, you will not be able to get the wax out of that. And then also, any surfaces you use over at the counter, I would put um, something on that, newspaper or paper towels or whatever, because it's not very much fun to get it off of the counter. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just fill these guys up here, and we'll see how it works with going out through those holes. I don't know if how well the dryer sheet is gonna keep it in there. We shall see. I would use all of my candle wax, even if like these all got filled up and you were you felt like you were done. Um, still go ahead and use it all because the longer these can burn, then you know the better start your fire has. Hi. So what we have here is we have uh, these fire starters that Barb made, and I know she showed you how to fix those or how to make them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the fire here without kindling. What I've got is some odds and ends that I picked up at a job site. And you don't even need kindling, you just need some dry wood. And what you do is you get started here. You light the fire starters and you put the wood at an angle so that the fire can burn the dry wood. And it'll burn for a few minutes. So you can see it's starting to kindle onto the wood and that fire starter is just going to keep going until 
it burns out again as I said before we don't know if it'll be five minutes ten minutes or 15 minutes it just depends on how much wax is in there you know along with uh, the other items it just burns and burns and you don't have to put any kindling in there at all but as he said the wood does need to be dry or the fire won't kindle on it and sometimes if you want you can put two of them in there um, they're inexpensive to make and really effective and if you put two of them in there it just gets it started sooner so these are just great for your campfires for your fires in your living room they just are really handy and they're very ugly but they are as handy as they are ugly so thank you for watching thank you for watching